Paul, uh, a little bit of a, a scare at the start of the game, but ultimately a, a really good night's work. Yeah, I, I thought we actually started OK in terms of passing the ball and, and how we wanted to look. Uh, and then the goal, obviously, is a setback. But the biggest thing for me was the response to the goal. That there was no panic. They, they stuck to how we're looking to play and, and how we want to uh, try and play and, and try and work as a team. And I thought the fact that the response to that was so good was really pleasing. There was no panic. We kept doing as we asked and, and got the reward for that going into the uh, half time. You spoke a few times in interviews since you've arrived around wanting your team to play a sort of high pressing game and an intensity. I thought your team really did that, especially in the opening 20, 25 minutes. Are you, are you pleased with how they acquitted themselves? Yeah, I thought they were excellent. I uh, probably was slightly concerned at the, the lack of games. I, I would have liked an extra game, and with that game last week that we, we lost to our broth, uh, with them not playing. Going into that, I would have definitely liked that extra game. So there was a wee question mark over uh, how they'd be going into this game, especially with it being our first competitive one. But the, the reaction to get the ball back was was brilliant. I thought throughout the night there was wee spells, and I'm partly to blame for that. We're embarking at them to go and get after it, and then probably they need to be a wee bit more patient at times. So we'll get the balance of that right. But uh, more often than not, they've done it really well, and I, and I think ultimately second I'll be in Rovers and then by the amount of times they got after them. You seem very keen to, to play an attacking brand, and from what I can see, both uh, Craig McGuffey and Callum Morrison in the first half were really pushing into advanced positions to support Jamie Wilson. Yeah, yeah I mean, we, we want to be expansive in possession, but ultimately you, you then need to get the balance again right of, of out of possession, making sure you, you, you're straight back into that shape and structure and being hypercritical at times where maybe slightly too open. Uh, but when you're controlling the ball as much as we did, sometimes the, the pitch does naturally open up and a wee bit slackness at times causes you more problems than it needs to. So it's taking care of the basics, making sure you, you stress the importance of that more often than not and uh, you control the game a wee, bit bit, a wee bit better. That's probably not the right word because we've controlled the game for the main, but the issues we have had is just through a wee bit slackness in times in possession. Some, uh, some good goals amongst the five as well. What's your thoughts on them? Yeah, brilliant goals. I mean, Callum's been a, uh, outstanding since we came in. He's uh, a real threat. We keep harping on at him about getting the defensive side of it right, but he's still young and he's still got plenty of time to learn, so I'm sure he'll do that. Uh, brilliant for Charlie and, and, and Dicker to get in amongst the goals with a set piece as well, which is important. Uh, and absolutely delighted for young Ben to come on, probably a wee bit earlier than we thought he would have been involved, but the fact we needed to get him in and uh, around the place to beef up our squad, both him and Cammy, and, and when we get the goals, we feel it's an opportunity to get these younger ones on that have obviously, through Ian Ferguson's trials and things to get the academy going, we've kind of stumbled up across the two of them and they've both earned their contract, so it was pleasing to get them in and, and obviously get both of them on and for Ben to perform the way he did with the greatest of respect has probably exceeded even my expectation tonight so really pleased for him. Obviously you're mentioning new recruits coming in there and to an extent you know they always seem to say that teams take a little while to gel. How do you think the, the guys in the squad are gelling so far? Really well. I, I said that before the game. As a group they're, they're uh, together in this already in the dressing rooms uh, obviously with their social distancing and they're spread out a bit but they, they do seem to be getting a decent spirit already which is, is vital for you to uh, build good unity within your squad and make sure that uh, Times will be hard, definitely. You'll, you'll have your hard times and it's making sure as a group we enjoy the good times and stick together through the hard times as well. How nice was it not only to get a, a win in your first competitive game but also to do so in front of the fans, which have obviously been missing for, for so long? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant to have people back in stadiums. I, I was at a couple of games, both Friday and Saturday, to, to see games and to see fans back in amongst it was, was excellent. But to come out here in front of our own fans and, and put on a performance the way we did was extra special. And just, uh, just finally, Paul, of course, the, the question all the Falkirk fans are asking at the moment, uh, in terms of comings and goings to the club, can the, the fans expect any more transfer activity? Uh, yeah, there needs to be. I mean, they, they obviously, I, I speak about the two young boys, but that's all they are. They're, they're babies. They're only 18-year-old. Both of them just turned. Uh, they'll help with match prep and things. They may dip in and out the squad. Uh, if they keep performing like that, they may be in it more often than not. Uh, but no, they definitely need to improve uh, and strengthen 
get a bit more depth to it, but it needs to be the right quality as well to make sure that the players are always on their toes and, and if we can get the right ones, then it's a real battle to, to keep the jersey and the ones that have had that opportunity tonight have, have certainly taken it. Well, Paul, congratulations on the win and as always, thanks for your time. Thanks very much, Lewis. Thank you.